site here. I don't think they play the same way. No, of course. That's One, why I said it. <laughs> anyway, how <laughs> gaming's Master Mario against Nitro, the 10th ranked PR player in SoCal versus the number 14. Another PR clash we have for you. Just such such a good slate of matchups. Speaks to the incredible field we have today. And all of a sudden, Master Mario. Excellent work to start this off. Gets that fireball confirmed. Is able to really force it out. He waited for Nitro's spot dodge. He knew exactly what he was going to go for. So Arsene running out of juice. And immediately as I say that, he needs to get as much damage as possible. But Master Mario is not letting him do it at all. Yeah, excellent work. Arsene coming and going within the first 35 seconds of the match. Not something Nitro wanted at all, just came out way too early. And the perfect read on the reverse up smash, Master Mario knew exactly that Nitro was going to go for the back row, and a lot of shenanigans coming in right now, but here we go. Nitro getting a little bit of damage down, but such impressive first stock for Master Mario. Certainly, Master Mario just plays this over and over and over again. I know he practices Eon quite a bit, so should have the Joker matchup, at least a certain amount of knowledge within his brain, but... Of course, Nitro playing an entirely different brand of Joker as we see the AK on ticking this percent up for Master Mario. Mm -hmm. Nitro plays a very interesting Joker. It's a very defensive base. You use a lot of your neutral special type, mm -hmm. like the Dante, I would say, as I like to call it. But here comes the strings, and he's going to use that up B, but great DI from Nitro getting away from it. But already a stock down. This isn't looking too good for him. No, it is. The back throw will send him off stage, perhaps going or not going for that. Downward gun, edge guard. The fireball dissuaded him from doing so. Gets him with the cape, though, or gets around the cape rather, and gets the stock almost, you know, not quite too late, but not better too late, late than never. Better late than never, absolutely. And remember, uh, Joker can get things done when he gets these strings off. He's just like Mario in a sort of way. When he gets these combos off, he's surely able to fire back, but great grab. But actually, Nitro. Going off stage just to avoid the grab. Really impressive stuff by him, and here comes the gunplay I'm talking about. Certainly, Nitro just holding back, not being the one to approach first, and that's never something you want to do in the Mario matchup. And he's going to go ahead and do the best as he can. 190, 119. Nitro just needs to live long enough for Arsene to come back on. Certainly. We haven't seen him, well, we haven't seen him throw out that Rebel's Guard at all, and certainly didn't see it there. Just didn't throw it in time. And the second stock, two stocks taken with the reverse up smash. Uh huh. And he actually fell out of that down air, but 42%. Nitro, he's going to get Arsene, but he's a stock down. Yeah, at what cost? Nitro just playing this as well as he can. It's just not enough to get around these walls mm -hmm. and that right. Master Mario is throwing out. Mm -hmm. Master Mario doing so well. He understands the Joker matchup, and I guess one of the disadvantages is that you really do, there's a lot of more Joker play happening, especially in SoCal in the scene, but the back here forcing him off stage. He needs to get this edge guard, but great cape to delay the recovery. Master Mario, not dead yet. Not dead yet, but Arsene going away. Not an opportune time for that. The Nair capes him, though. That's a great way back into the neutral game for Nitro. Mm -hmm. Does force some loss. He's not dead yet. At any time, Nitro, he needs to finish the stock and the down throw. Not even think it just yet either. He's, this is really bad in the back air in the opposite direction. So Master Mario looking at 200. I'm calling it out. Reverse up smash is going to go in and take out Nitro's stock. Maybe for the third time this game, we're seeing Master Mario live for just so long. Goes way deep off stage. And remember, Nitro... <laughs> You called what it. What did I say? What did I say? I literally said that he would finish the stock with a first up smash. That's exactly what happened. Yeah, Nitro, of course, falling victim to that. But Master Mario, a bit of a fan of closing all three stocks out the same way as we mm -hmm. saw right there. Whether it's the up smash, whether it's the fair, just going for the style and saying, I will go for the same option over and over again. And if you don't punish, I'll do it. I'll do it as often as you let me. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Right? Certainly. And right now, Nitro... Is he going to stick to the Joker? Looks like he is. Interesting. I was expecting to see Richter. Maybe. It's going to be town and city for game two of winter's quarters. Of course, if you're just joining us, this is Mega Smash Mondays 204 at La Mirada, California. There is a spot in SoCal Rising on the line. The last uh, invitee will be crowned today the highest placing non-invited player. I don't believe there's any invited players out here already, so that, I don't might think be, so. that might be a bit redundant, but nevertheless, we do see just so many good interactions coming at the start from Master Mario picking up where he left off. Mm -hmm. And he's able to trade it out, so now he's doing a little better job of not getting his stock eviscerated, but 
Right now, Master Mario adapting a more passive style to get around the RSM, the Great F, till Nitro forces him out of these really bad situations. Aegon being thrown out constantly, forcing Master Mario to really think about his approach option. Nair used once more, but nothing so far. Two in a row, and finally gets him within his grasp. Doesn't get the up air drag down that he was looking for, though, and Nitro will have to take the reset. Doing such a great job, and then down to force him on the shield, so no response just yet. Nitro doing the best Dante impression. That Again. last, last hit of the tornado, just finally getting this for Master Mario. Had, you know, he had lost stage control for the past 20 seconds, but with the help of that back air and these tools, these aerial weapons that he's throwing out, finally able to regain it. Doing the best he can. He's gonna go ahead and throw Nitro off stage, but thankfully that platform is able to stall his recovery. Sent right into the stratosphere, but what is not gonna be good enough with that back air surely is. Yeah, if the raw bear won't work, the regular bear will. Nitro will be the first to lose the stock in game two. Mm, I mean, I'm very interested. To, no, I know it's a little too late at this point. I'm very interested to know why Nitro's not pulling the victory. I am too. You know, that might be, you know, might just be looking to try something new, might look to develop this. This could, you know, as we say, Switch Fest coming up this weekend might want to just familiar himself, familiarize himself with a few more matchups. And right now he's able to get that confirmed down. Excellent job by Nitro. Yeah, Perfect just caught here. the left edge of the platform two inches to the left, and that might not have gotten the result he was looking for, but Nitro, just enough real estate to make the play he wanted to. Mm -hmm. Uptill gonna cast him out for a little more damage, forcing out the air dodge, so Nitro's gonna have Arsene really soon, so Master Mario needs to be really careful now. Yeah, a couple of up airs in a row. Nitro had to be holding his breath after that one. Centralized toward the stage, so perhaps not the fair to worry about, but if these combos continue, they will deplete Arsene. Yep, and he's getting his down counter actually lasted just long enough for him to get away from it down air. Not gonna find its mark. So Master Mario needs to find something to work, and he's doing so far such a good job. Arsene off the table. Nitro perhaps playing a bit more safely as that F tilt will come in, already making the percent cap almost all the way up. He's able to get away with it. Great usage of the gunplay to mix up his recovery, and he's getting back on the platform. Rolls away back here, force him off stage. Just caught him with one hit of the gun there, just for a fraction of a percent, but that dash attack is going to steal nothing out just yet. Force him in off stage. Even percentages on both of them. Remember, without Arsene, kill powers is severely limited, but definitely not over, and especially for the fact that Down Smash is going to find this mark, so Nitro. Platforms are coming in, so he still can get a confirmed. Certainly. Although, as you say it, these platforms are not only a tool for Nitro, they're a tool for Master Mario to extend up air strings off of. And I'll have to find him just yet. Nitro is doing a really good job minimizing the damage. He's able to get away. Up Smash trying to find his name on it, but nothing so far. Master Mario is doing a really good job mixing it up, and here comes the re-grab, knowing that he didn't fall on the platform to get the up smash. But a great back here, Nitro on point with this. Yeah, Nitro saying this one isn't in the books just yet. As Arsene comes out, Already a bit of damage he can do, and just with this big, bad red man. Mm -hmm, but Master Mario getting away with it. He does get a little bit of the promise string, and that damage over the time is going to force him into a really bad situation. He's at force for cover high, but Nitro unable to cover it. That Nair just, that legend invincibility waiting it out. Fireball gets him. Second one, he had the invincibility to make it past in the spite of the fireball. But that rapid jab, that gentleman from Mario misses the tech on the platform, and gets the bear it. confirmed. Master Mario. Excellent skill weaving in and out, and that raw bear finishing off game two. Perhaps not as dominant as the last time they met, but a win is a win nonetheless.